Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question we are answering is, what's in the box? In regards to this, the Wonder Woman Challenge of the Amazons cooperative board game from Ravensburger. Uh, this is a game by Prospero Hall. A production company I'm a huge fan of. I've been extremely impressed by the licensed games Prospero Hall has put out, including such favorites as Jaws and Disney Villainous, Minecraft, Builders, and Biomes. So, despite the fact that for years we used to think that licensed games were not worth playing, I'm expecting good things from this one. So, we're going to jump to it pretty quickly here. So, I will show you the back here. This is our home. We will not submit. You will play one of five Amazons challenging either the Cheetah, Ares, or Circe. Again, this is a cooperative board game for two to five players. Enough about that. Let's see what's in the box. Alrighty, so here we go. We have the box for Wonder Woman Challenge of the Amazons. Cracking this open for the first time. I have not seen the contents of this box before. Well, we have Wonder Woman. It's kind of what you expect in a Wonder Woman game. Oh, that's the back of the board. So this is a bonus. Um, Prospero Hall did the same thing or, uh, with, with Horrified, with the, the piece of artwork on the board, and I dig it. So we have a nice picture of Wonder Woman here that is one panel of the board, which shows, of course, the island of Themyscira. Very colorful and very upside down. So we are going to flip this over. Here you go. Here we have the play board. It's a fourfold. Um, it's not a mounted board. It's actually, um, just card. So that's, a, that's an interesting choice, design choice there. Um, we have a bunch of different locations as well as an enemy health track on one side and the Amazon defense track on the other. And well, wow. Okay. It's not just Wonder Woman's head. It's a full picture Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman. So once you're done with the game and you played all the scenarios, you can mount this on your wall and get a Wonder Woman poster. Up next, we have the instructions. Nice, full color, tons of examples here. I love that. That is a great set of components showing both sides of the cards. I'd love to see that. We're going to flip through this fairly quickly. It's a fairly short looking book. Lots of nice white space, well laid out. See lots of examples, how to play. Tons of examples, that's great. End of the round, defeating Ares, whatever the rules for relics are, and increasing the difficulty in other enemies. We are looking at a grand total of 15 pages of rules and a really nice appendix here on the back of the book. And we have one set. We have one set of punch boards. Fairly thin, thinner, thinner than most board games, but not terrible. Um, you have our, our three different villains here. You've got a bunch of special tokens, sometimes three tokens. You kind of show off these over here. The artwork's really well done. Unfortunately, Aries is mostly blue. So we have the tokens here. Then we get into the large size card format. Oh, there's some tape actually holding this in. It's an interesting choice. I am reminded a lot of Horrified at this point um, with this, with the board, with the different layouts, and then the larger cards for the different bosses. Uh, what i got to say right away, this seems very expandable. seems like it would be very easy to just throw in another, another boss, another bad guy. So we'll take that out. And we have Ares. And these are two-sided with the same thing on both sides, as far as I can tell. Oh, no, three or five players or two or four players. So there you go. Two different sides, depending on the difficulty. We have Cheetah. Again, two different sides. Now, this one doesn't have a lot of green, so I'll throw it over here so you can kind of see it. Start of the game, start of the round, end of the round. I'm not sure what these symbols down at the bottom name. And then the other side. Same type of info, but I'm sure some of the numbers are different. And then we have Circe. All right, we have some long strips for each of the different Amazons. So we have Diana, of course, is the Wonder Woman with three slots for actions and a special ability. Next we have Mala. Of 
Nobia, Artemis, and Philippus. And then one of the things I was most looking forward to checking out, we have some really cool miniatures in here. Now, what I couldn't tell from the box is these are plastic. I got to say they are nice looking minis though, despite being plastic, they look metal. Hold that here. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a close up here. Details really solid. Go through each of these fairly quickly. Now that's an axe. Nice dynamic pose. Those are some nice minis. I know people who picked up copies of this game specifically for the minis. There's a good indicator of the plastic. Those are probably paint up nice, but they look pretty good in the metallic look. So you go, miniatures. We have standy stands. I'm not going to bother pulling those out. We've got cubes, uh, which look like plastic resource cubes from many games. What I'll do is I'll pull up the purple here, show you a little bit of those. Pretty much standard cubes you'd see in any game, plastic cubes. We have those in different colors. I'm going to guess the player colors based on symbols I saw earlier. So we have purple, green, orange, and white cubes. These are plastic, not wood. And we have a deck of smaller cards, which I'm going to crack open here. All right, so these say hero on the back. Do they all say, they all say hero on the back. So we have a deck of hero cards. Um, these look like they're relics. Are they all relics? No, there's all kinds of different things here. So we have an amulet. We've got a girdle of Gaia, spear of Athena. I'm going to skip through past some relics to experienced, bold. Um, these have various symbols on the bottom. Again, I haven't played this game, so I don't quite know what they mean. <laughs> Experienced, and again, there's two different symbols at the bottom showing things. There's artwork on the top half of the cards. Uh, very comic book looking, but very boring. <laughs> to be honest, it's just not that interesting. It's like a, a wheat field and some waves, and we're trying not to, in a tree. So there's all kinds of these, steadfast. So these are obviously all um, aspects that the characters could have. Powerful, adaptable, inspiring, swift persistent and so on and there's multiples of them and they have different abilities on them so for example here's a swift that shows one book and four feet here's a different swift that shows one sword and four feet so significant stack of these cards like that's not a small stack of hero cards toss that back in the box then we have more standard size cards all right, here we have some different backs based probably on the thing. So these are all Circe cards. Then suddenly I have sort of Hephaestus in between, then Ares cards. Then I don't even know. Some two-sided stat cards. And then cheetah cards. So what I'll do is I'll quickly flip through. So similar to the hero cards, these are again aspects of Ares. We have threatening, formidable, uh, threatening, obstinate, formidable, threatening. So very repetitive. Um, we'll throw these down here so you can see them. So there's an example of one of the Ares cards. It says deploy three to the library, threatening, formidable, deploy two. Somewhere tyrannical, deploy two to the watchtower, volatile, move Ares. So this is going to be how the enemies act, obviously. So enemy action decks for Ares, um, Cheetah's deck. Oh, I have some Athenian artifacts. No, these are still under the Cheetah deck. Okay. So Cheetah deck obviously has a little bit more going on with some artifacts. As well as, again, ruthless, predatory... And various other action cards, cunning, and so on. Seriously, I expect to see basically more of the same. But different, yeah, so unsettling, arcane, ominous, and so on. 
Sword of Hephaestus is some kind of special card. Obviously, that's a um, Wonder Woman sword with some type of mar marker on it. Again, I haven't played the game. And then these are the last cards. Um, they look to be probably summary cards for each player. Yeah, so that lists the round phases. And then it's got Circe stats on the back. Um, and then similar, there's a card for Ares. There's cards for Cheetah. So reference cards for the players. Card quality here is pretty good. Um, there's a matte finish on the cards. No linen finish or anything like that. Very matte. They feel pretty solid. They're not plasticized at all. They're just card. Not good, not bad. Decent card quality. And that's it. That's what you get in the box with Wonder Woman Challenge of the Amazons. Lots of cubes. Three different villains to face. Some punch boards, which I'll punch out at a later date. Love the miniatures. Miniatures are really impressive looking. Um, also a nice plastic insert to hold all of this. Actually, it's worth noting that I didn't mention before. There is a spot for everything in here. Everything's held nice and separated. Um, there's a spot here for all the different things, but there's nothing that I really hold them in place except for the board once it's on top. Uh, this will probably fit even better once this punch board's out of here. I'm not going to bother with this plastic. Then we're going to throw the board back on top with... Wonder Woman giving us a stare down. All right, there you have what you get in the box for Wonder Woman. Challenge of the Amazons, a two to five player cooperative board game based, of course, on the DC Comics license for Wonder Woman. Take on the role of one of the Amazons and try to defend Themyscira from Ares, Cheetah, or Circe. Got to say I'm impressed by what I saw in this box. Um... I love what Ravensburger and the um, Prospero Hall have been doing with their boards. There was a nice, real good pop when you open the box. You can see Wonder Woman's face. Miniatures are plastic. That's worth noting because most of the pictures you're going to see online, they are painted with like a metallic brass or gold color. And they do look metal. They are plastic miniatures. So that was slightly disappointing. But you know what? The price point would be way higher if it was a metal version of the miniatures. Uh, a whole bunch of cards. Card-driven, cooperative game. Some nice plastic cubes. Everything looks solid. Looking forward to checking this game out. Um, and when I do so, I'll be sure to, her to share my thoughts. So that's it for tonight's look at Wonder Woman Challenge of the Amazons. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find our content at TabletopBellhop.com, where you'll find all kinds of things like more unboxing videos, reviews, and questions, answering answers to your gaming and game night questions. If you've got a gaming or game night question, you can send it to questions at TabletopBellhop.com. Uh, just one final thing, if you did enjoy this video, please consider tipping your bellhop at patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop. And for those of you on YouTube, just hit the I up here and you'll get links to all that stuff. Thank you very much for your time. For Tabletop Bellhop, good night and game on.